in this video i am going to show how to analyze protein and nucleic acid using the tool sequence manipulation suit here i am going to discuss about the topic codon usage dna pattern find dna stat split codon orf and so on sms is a collection of javascript program can be used for generating, formatting and analyzing short DNA and protein sequence. First, go to internet and type sequence manipulation suit. is available both online and offline. This is the home page of sequence manipulation soon. This version is much faster and has new features. Here in the left side of the page you can have a look that we have many parameters for the nucleotide and protein analysis. Before using this tool we need to retrieve protein as well as DNA sequence from NCBI that is National Center for Biotechnology Information. Now go to NCBI and in the database column type protein or nucleotide and type a protein that you want. Here I am going to explain about cry protein using the tool sequence manipulation suit. Cry gene produces an insoluble inactive crystalline protein which is converted into soluble toxic and active form in the gut of the insect due to alkaline pH and protease. Retrieve the sequence and then go to sequence manipulation suit. First about the codon usage. Codon usage tells us of which amino acid is dominant in our required sequence. Here is the box where you need to submit your required sequence. The question might arise why we are doing this codon usage. It's because for the optimal translational efficiency and this is highly this is highly pronounced in express gene in species whose effective population size is large. From the result page, we can infer that glutamic acid is the amino acid uh, which is dominant in the cry gene and the second dominant one is the aspartic acid with 48 amino acid number. Now about the DNA pattern find, it tells how the DNA strand is present. The concept behind the DNA pattern find is, a gene can live on a DNA strand in one of the two orientation. The gene is said to have a coding strand and a template strand. For 50% of gene, its coding strand will correspond to chromosome's forward strand and for the other 50%, it will correspond to the reverse strand. Here for the match 1, 2 and 3 and most of the matches, the strand is the direct strand. And uh, for the match number 16, it, uh, the strand's position is the reverse strand. Next, the DNA stat. This tells how many times the ATGC nucleotide base pair is, is repeated. From the result page, we can infer that G, that is guanine, is repeated 775 times, adenine is repeated 1154 times, thiamine is repeated 1002 times, and cytosine is repeated 603 times in cry gene and the percentage of the nucleotide present is given for each C understanding. Now about the reverse complement. In reverse complement, the DNA sequence is reverted and then it gives the complementary sequence. Reverse complement of a sequence is formed by reversing the letter, letters interchanging A and T and interchanging C and G. For the cry protein, the result is obtained as shown 
that is uh, the reverse complement for A is T and for G it is C and vice versa. Now about the ORF finder, ORF means the open reading frame. It is used to find the protein translation site. ORF is a continuous stretch of codon that contains a start codon and a stop codon. Here in the sequence ATG ATG codon within the ORF may indicate where the translation starts. Next about the protein pairwise alignment. Submit two sequence in the box. The protein pairwise alignment tells about the similar or identical sequence which occur in protein across the species or within the genome. Here for cryogene it gives uh, for the alignment score is obtained as 3534 residue. Finally about the application of this sequence manipulation suit, codon usage tells how the amino acid is dominant. DNA pattern find shows how the DNA strand is present. DNA stat tells, uh, tells us about the ATGC reputation. ORF finder tells about the protein translation site using protein pairwise alignment the consensus sequence can be found reverse complement of a DNA sequence can also be found uh, using the molecular weight the location of protein can be inferred by knowing the isoelectric point then an electrical charge of a protein can be found and protein pattern can be inferred through protein pattern find. These are the required parameters to be known if we want to do a basic research understanding of a new protein or nucleic acid found. Thank you.